Okay, a few weeks ago, I got a message from a friend I used to do business with. Two weeks ago, I got a message from a friend and he was explaining to me about what he's going through. And I've been thinking about this like for the last two weeks or so. So basically he told me like, bro, to be honest, I feel like giving up on life. I've done everything I could, but things just aren't working. I do business, have great ideas, and things never really go my way. To be honest, I've tried everything and I think I'm tired and need to put myself to rest. Okay, so obviously from there I told him that no, uh, don't do that. Uh, but anyways, what I'm gonna, we're gonna get through, what I'm gonna go to is basically he's explained basically he was explaining to me that life is like hard okay so i'm gonna take you back about 10 years ago and i was probably on this same level this guy is on so okay let's go 10 years no let's go we're gonna go back about 15 years ago right so i finished school i uh, got got my degree got a job uh, worked for two different companies okay so I basically worked for like three to four years gained some knowledge gained some experience uh, even saved up okay and I was basically winning in the game and then I saw a beautiful opportunity to come back to my home country and provide some type of provide a similar service that I was doing there in South Africa and so within the first year of starting the business being naive and not understanding how things work in different places uh, yeah just, just cut the story short I lost everything lost everything started again had to start from zero so after losing everything and trying to start again from scratch there were some periods and moments where I felt a bit of hopelessness like I messed up and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make it I don't know what I'm gonna do and I went through exactly the same thing for quite some time you get a bit of success uh, things work out things don't work out and the trajectory didn't seem so bright but once I started changing my mindset that's when things started working better so if you're going if you're thinking life is hard and you're going through it at the moment let me let's go through three things that you need to know okay here are my three things that help me get through all that feeling of hopelessness and just negative thoughts okay number one preconceived thoughts of how life should be you're gonna need to erase anyways you're gonna need to teach your mind to remove all your preconceived thoughts of how you think life should be and now you're gonna look now you have to start looking at how life actually is okay so remove all those preconceived thoughts of where you think if I do this, this is going to happen. If I do this, then I deserve this. If I do this, you're going you're gonna to have to remove all that. All those pre preconceived thoughts are just going to mess you up. So now you're going to have to look at life objectively the way it actually is. And so we're going to go back and try to remove your preconceived thoughts about life. So number one, life isn't fair you would notice that even from nature itself that life isn't fair just look at how nature exists in the jungle a lot of things that happen there it's all about survival it's all about dominance and even there there's nothing fair about it at all and that's how life is that's that's the premise of life that's just how life is so 
you, so from nature to business to even the different social classes we have fair the word fair is a word that we created to try to make things feel more pleasant for us for us humans but naturally there's nothing like fair nothing is fair so stop thinking that you deserve a fair shot at this a fair shot at that because nothing is fair so number two you have to realize that no one cares about you okay let me the only person the only people that do care about you are probably the people that made you anyone else does not care about what you're going through so you're probably thinking like why am i saying this if you're trying to watch this and try to get motivation just remember i was through the same situation so once you realize that no one cares about you no one really cares about you you're gonna you're gonna start seeing life for what it really is people all have their own goals inspirations and they're all going through things as well you're not the only one who's going through whatever it is you're going through everyone has their own mission has their own goals and why should they stop and care okay maybe they'll listen to your story they'll listen to you but promise me I promise you in the next two to five minutes they'll forget everything about about your situation and concentrate on theirs so and that's and once you realize that people are driven by self-interest people only care about themselves and their own goals so once you realize that life and humans are driven on self-interest you can use that to your own advantage and it's probably a long topic but there's many ways you can use that same theory for your own gain as well I know it sounds weird but so people having their own self-interest and you realizing that it's gonna give you an advantage if you know how to use it and this other last point is quite important because most people don't know how to think in these terms of lines what you know what you need to learn how to do is think in probabilities these are simple scenarios but there's probabilities down every single chain and you can move those probabilities in your favor most of the times where it's applicable so a simple one if you don't if if you don't go to school or get an education what are the probabilities of you becoming successful okay your probabilities are now your probabilities are slim so if you do get an education what are your probabilities now of becoming successful for example in in this country the probabilities are stacked way against you for becoming successful versus other places so now you're gonna to shift those probabilities number one you're gonna need to have an education okay that one is you're gonna need to have some sort of education you want to increase your probabilities further you're gonna need to get higher education okay this is if you're going in the job market okay so once you do that you're gonna now have slightly higher probabilities of success so now say after you after you've gotten your job right and still the game isn't over yet okay so what are what are the probabilities of you running into a financial situation if you haven't saved any money the probabilities are high right so if you want to reduce your probabilities of running into a financial situation you're gonna have to save there's no two ways about it and then how 
what are the probabilities of you securing your future if you don't invest? If you don't invest, you reduce your probabilities of securing your future. That's just how it works. It's, it's, <laughs> it's like so simple. Oh, you just have to do these little small things. But then at the same time, while you're trying to do all these small things, you'll notice that there's a lot of things that go against what you're trying to do. And that's what makes life hard. You're trying to save money, you can't because the price of goods just keep going up or you don't know how to control your spending, you're blinded by a lot of these marketing techniques making you believe that you need this, you need that and you can't save any money. So that now that's now an issue you're gonna have to learn how to deal with yourself eventually. If you don't, there's, there's a, gonna be a consequence at the end of the day. So that's, that's just how it works. You have to keep moving the probabilities into your favor. And yeah, and lastly, you're gonna have to understand what a system is. From my knowledge, okay, a system is organized way of doing things or a procedure of certain functions that are gonna lead to a certain outcome. So everything in the world is within some sort of a system and then there's systems within those systems. So for example, I know we're going, this is going a bit far off, but even if you look at the planets and the galaxy, it moves in a system. There's a, there's a predefined system of how everything works, okay? Now when you're looking at it from the economical perspective and where it matters on making money, you have to understand the system you're the system that your country is in and the current state of that system. So right now, like for example here, we're in a capitalist system. We're in a capitalist system and a cash, mainly a cash-based society type of system. So I'm not talking about physical cash, but I'm, I'm just saying that it's not a credit-based system like some other countries. So you have to understand what goes into or what, how, how such a system works. And then you're gonna, from there, you're gonna have to be a little bit creative and learn how to exploit the inefficiencies in, the, in these systems. That's how you're gonna become successful and that's how you're gonna now shift the probabilities of you winning to your side so you're gonna have to understand the system and the system is quite deep and there's a lot of loopholes in the system but they get closed all the time but they open again if you don't understand the system you don't you probably won't even know where you're placed in the system you won't know how to get to the next level in the system you see so but that's like a whole nother topic yeah so those are the three things if you want to tackle the struggles in life remove all your preconceived thoughts i know they teach you not to question a lot of things you're gonna have to learn how to question everything realize that no one cares about you okay and then also what's the last one yeah learn how to think in probabilities and learn how to shift the probabilities in your favor.